Now I know that's really vague, so let's just try to make this more concrete. Let me cancel out of all these. I'm going to delete my library because there's we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to do the same with the independent resource. So delete there as well. Now actually notice that you can't just delete the in independent resource. You need to delete the folder underneath it. And if you look at the project uh, properties, by the way, you'll see that it, it is a project, in case you were curious. And then I can delete this. Now but by deleting this, I will be deleting independent resources because the inf the information about it's the logical um, the logical representation here is located inside my IP and just to verify that as we sort of did in a previous video go down to other go down to the navigator and then we're going to locate my IP and this applies to um, this applies not only to this um, screen but really any any way where there's metadata involved so that it's basically in the my project if you delete my project which is um, you will delete the information related to it's it, um, it being shown on the screen so if you kind of go through this you'll see what I'm talking about if I delete my IP you're deleting the only file that will um, that is responsible for representing independent resources on the screen and so independent resources also goes away Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and create a node here where I have a message flow. Now in the last video, we looked at a PI file. So I'm going to just show you what this is going to look like. I have already created a PI file, so I'm going to load it here. And I'm going to load all of these. But only because I want to show you that you don't have to start from scratch here. And that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my message flow from there and I'm going to drag it onto company.com here. And it says it this may cause problems. So if you're worried about that, because you'd be sort of relocating something, I'm going to copy it and try to paste it. But notice you can't do that. But what you can do is open up this one and then select everything copy it and then paste it into your existing one and then the advantage of that of course is if you go into your uh, any of these nodes you can get all the properties that you originally configured with them but I want to keep this simple so for now I'm going to delete this subflow we haven't talked about that yet and I don't need these uh, applications that I imported so I'm going to take them out so I just deleted that one I'm gonna do the same here it will delete it and then the same applies to independent resources. But remember, you have to use this folder here. And so that's kind of a recap of all of our containers we've been talking about. OK, and here I'm going to create a Java compute node. So I'm just going to drag it to the canvas and double click. Make sure your package does say com.company or something consistent. So you need, this com you need this prefix for your namespace. Make sure that's accurate. The source folder does indeed match the top of our application. We want that. And then notice that Java Compute is added at the end here. And of course, that's done automatically. So now let's go to Next. And in this case, we're going to do filtering so we don't actually change anything. And we'll go to Next again. And this is a really important screen, but we're not going to cover it in this particular video. So for now, we're going to go to Next. And then it asks us, what is our project name going to be? And notice that Java is post-fixed or appended to the end there, appended and now we get this because that's a little difficult to read i'm going to go to window preferences type in text font and then go to basic and you'll see text font and i'm just going to increase the size here a, a bit so i'll go to 12 and okay that and notice at the very top you see package com.company and that's what we wanted for the time being we're not going to do anything so i'm just going to hit Control s to save this and then also we're going to link these up correctly and then I'm just going to save this as it is. You'll see that there is an exclamation point here. It's just showing us that we have a warning. It's not a critical error. And now remember this video is about organizing. So let's go to Java. Notice you have a my app Java, then com.company just like we had before and just like we we're expecting it and want to have. So this is good. Okay, now let's try to deploy this application. So I'm going to click on my application drag it on top of the integration server let go it will deploy and now we should see my app running down here and as a result we got independent resources back and there's our generated bar file and here are some files in it now if you're wondering well why are we seeing this because it wasn't in our project well remember that we had 
done some copying and pasting so I'm going to delete that and then if you're worried about files in here that you should uh, being in here that shouldn't be in there you can go to project clean and you can clean all the projects and get rid of any um, basically do what you would expect here to sort of clean things up and now we have essentially the structure we were talking about before with projects with packages and you now can see in practice how files are handled along with projects and packages and then the structure of these sorts of things and you can compare that in the navigator to see how it's represented in the file system